just like you do it in FL, you can like do that. Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna teach you and show you how to use beat design in Cubase. So let's go ahead and open up new project, then it's gonna be on empty. Then from there, just create your folder. Let's say beat design or the title of your song. And just like that, click OK, come to enlarge, then come to add an instrument. And this is going to work uh, on your beats. Let's say you just want to make up beats in your uh, Cubase and you just want to do it like in FL. So you come to VST, pick up a plugin that has kicks or snares or anything like that uh if you ask me piano is not gonna work this this one is just for beat designing so let's go ahead and pick up drums lm2 or you can of course pick up groove agent one or uh gravity or uh purity or hypersonic come to midi inserts I said you come to MIDI inserts then you come to empty effect type and then you come to you left click and then you come to beat design right there this is gonna open up of course you can like uh, minimize it if you want wanted to whenever it disappears you just come to edit channel edit and then it's gonna be it's gonna come back so this is where you design your beats this is gonna be your drum bass drum this is your sidekick acoustic snare so and all that so right now let's say you wanna like do it in fl you're not plotting so you can also do it in in uh cubis cubis has a lot of things that you can do in it so you start by just left clicking that's your where your kick is gonna be like yeah let me try to reduce the tempo a little bit yeah just like that so let's go ahead maximize it and you can actually do this just like you do it in fl you can like do that of course when you like left click on it you take them out you delete just like that then there is something that i want to show you also when you like hold using your uh left side of your mouth you hold it this is going to be like you can take it down like this to increase the volume or uh reduce the volume or increase the volume so you can do that increase the volume or reduce the volume that's one cool thing about beat designing you preview the samples that you have you can also put a crusher where is the crusher crusher right there you can insert a crusher for example let's put it somewhere of course we can reduce the volume and then you can come to to the same place where it's empty and then you can insert another one that you want right symbol like this There is a lot that you can do with beat designing. Of course, you can slide if you want to. This is your sliding part. So you can slide them and make them feel more human played. Uh, I want you to check out this one. And once you're done, this one is empty. Of course, you can like bring all these things that you've played into your playlist like that. Open it up insert pattern at case i mean so you just have to like click there and then close this of course you can like turn it off if you do not turn it off it's gonna play together with what you've inserted there so let's just uh increase this when you open it up you find that it's already done it's already inside right there w what i played in beat design has been shifted over to the piano roll like this so of course let me do this or you can also just like increase and do that so if you're not satisfied you want to play more of course you can like delete everything turn on beat design go back 
and continue working on whatever you want to work on if you just want to add more and once you're done again you just come to pattern functions and then you insert pattern at cursor just like that close it up turn it off just like that now you can also just extend everything this is the easiest way you can like plot and just design your beats a lot of people find it so hard trying to make beats from the piano roll so you can like use beat design to design the way you especially if you're an fl user just want to make your beat in cubase you can use beat design it's the same as the way you do it in fl studio so i hope this video has helped you don't forget to leave a like please subscribe i'll see you in the next one